If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PG and GM. Praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what time it is. The doctors in the house. Check this out, kings and queens, brethren and sisters. Today, I'm here to talk about Javante Tank Davis, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He has been requested, officially requested by Team USA, um, to, to travel to Paris for the Olympics um, to help them out, you know, help them get that gold medal, you know what I'm saying? Represent the country, you know, now his official capacity will be in, a, in, a, in an advisory role, you know, they want him to be over there to offer counsel to the young fighters, you know, not to actually fight. <laughs> Um, but to offer counsel to the fighters that are competing, you know what I'm saying? And um, But there is some problems with that. The problem is that he, <laughs> my dog just came running out the woods, <laughs> out the backyard. Nothing crazy, but uh, but the problem with that is that, of course, he's on probation, you know, so he has some, he's finishing out his, um, you know, his, his legal situation, you know, and uh, so he had to go visit the judge to request official permission, right, um, to be to be granted the ability to travel, you know, especially internationally. So, um, you know, he, they went and, and, and uh, requested uh, <laughs> permission from a judge uh, handy, you know, and um, you know, he was represented by his lawyer to which uh, Javante Tank Davis appeared at the hearing via court uh, via Zoom, you know, he he, he appeared there virtually, and uh, his, his representative was his lawyer um, what was his name again? Uh, uh, Hunter Pruitt, Hunter Pruitt, I believe and um, yeah, so at the end of the hearing you know, they went through some of the specifics and, and, and the judge wanted some uh, particulars you know, wanted some uh, uh, information regarding the scheduling and, and, and to where the, the attorney rebuttal he said you know I don't really have that information he doesn't really feel like it's imperative at, at, the, at this juncture because he doesn't even know if he has permission yet you know to travel so he's like why, why, would, why would we have that information to schedule it and provide that if we don't even have the correct permission as of, as of yet and um, you know and they went to, had some back and forth and Talbot concluded was that um, the judge said that you know we're done here it has not provided the final verdict but she did say um Judge Handy did make a remark and say that, um, you know, she felt as if uh, the lawyer Pruitt was trying to intimidate her. Now, you know, you know, court jargon and stuff like that, that I'm unfamiliar with, but I don't really see <laughs> how you can fully be intimidated in a court setting, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know what kind of intimidation that she's referencing, that the judge is referencing, you know. Um, but hey, I'm not there, you know. I'm sure that they uh, they'll figure something out, you know. And uh, and you know, but sometimes you know these these figures, you know, they like to take advantage of their of their position and their authority. Now I'm not saying that's the case here because, like I said, once again, I was not present. But you know, I just I just find it hard to believe that uh, somebody who's requesting permission is also coming in. Uh, arrogant and with with a with a posture of intimidation, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and intention to to intimidate. Um, so we'll see how it goes. You know what I'm saying. I know I know that uh, Tank and and this particular judge has some bad blood during his sentencing for his probation. You know, I think he called her crazy or something like that. So. <laughs> So that's not a good look either, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, you want to be respectful and stuff like that. And you want to stay on the right side of, of, of the law. But, you know, I do think that it's important <clears throat> that he is allowed to uh, go and represent the country, you know, because, you know, he was requested, you know, number one, he's working. Um, you know, so he'll be working in the capacity of a, of, of, a, of a boxer, you know, maybe not actually boxing, but he'll be providing counsel. And he has, yeah, he, he, his record is proven, right? So he has, he has um, significant expertise in that field. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> so, you know, being an undefeated uh, uh, KO artist that he is and a great skilled boxer. So he was requested and he'll be working in the capacity of work. And then number two, which is most important, right? He's representing the country, man, and giving, giving the country a better opportunity to take hold that gold medal, you know, in international competition. Where else to do it better than the Olympics, you know what I'm saying? But we'll see how it goes, you know. I'm sure the judge will make their decision. They have not made a final verdict yet, and when they do, I will update you, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that that's for the judge to decide, you know, and I don't really, I'm, I don't work in that capacity, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, we'll see how it goes, man. I'm not a judge, but I am a doctor, you know what I'm talking about? So I think you should be able to go about personal opinion, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about in the comments. Should he be allowed to go? Uh, or, or do you think he should uh, 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 stay and be denied? You know, I know people are offered uh, exceptions for work all the time. And this is, this is um, he may not actually be boxing, but he'll be providing counsel. And like I said, operating in an advisory role. So that should be 
uh, considered work, you know, and it, and he was requested by the team. So I think we should respect that in my personal opinion, you know, unless he did something outlandish to where, you know, um, and violated his probation or something like that to where the judge will, will take in all the information and, and make a decision. But I don't think the formal decision, my personal opinion, should be based on any type of uh, grudge, you know, or 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 or. or any other frivolous reaction between the lawyer and the judge in my personal opinion but that's just me man y'all let me know what y'all think about that remember with god we can do anything without god we're nothing y'all take care of yourselves be easy the doctor's out peace from the hood to college both worlds they had to meet six degrees between us so cold we're about to freeze but we're florida boys hot takes we bring the heat we're moving the culture the engineers to the streets